Microsoft releases Office 365 E5 for business. Microslop, excuse my Freudian slip. You shouldn't be so hard on Microsoft. You should be soft on them. Pun intended. Announced today, November 30th, 2015, the release of Office 365 E5 version. This version of Microsoft Office 365 is tailored towards business customers. Microsoft Skype is integrated now into Office 365 with this version. Also, business customers can replace their meeting and phone systems potentially with the software. New features include public switched telephone network conferencing, broadcast meetings with Skype, cloud private branch exchange, public switched telephone network calling. PSTN is the old school landline phone systems. And then the PBX is business phone system that a lot of businesses have you can place regular phone calls and dial into conference calls also you can host up to a 10,000 person business meeting businesses can ditch their existing private branch exchange phone system and use a cloud system instead PBX system Microsoft is now selling calling plans including phone numbers in the United States I think in the future they're planning on expanding their market towards other countries Meetings are conducted using audio video content sharing as well as with a messaging service. Microsoft is partnered with BT Global Services, Orange Business Services, SoftBank, TATA Communications, Telstra, Polycom, and Genesis with this initiative. This new Office 365 E5 for Business suite will cost $35 per month per user or $420 per year per user. Also, Microsoft Skype is including newer data analytics analysis back to the NSA I mean and security capabilities into this business enterprise office 365e you can check out more information from this official Microsoft Office 365e5 blog post quickly go over this blog post I will include a link in this YouTube video description to my website to that blog post at my website in computers.com so that you can quickly access this link and then potentially a video presentation office 365 brings significant new value to business customers worldwide if I was running a big enterprise a company and I wanted to swap out my PBX and PSTN calling and meeting I would research 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 I don't know if I would want to just all of a sudden make a decision of exchanging all that equipment for Microsoft and then I'm not a big fan of Skype I don't know about recently but when I've used Skype before for making calls to other individuals that ran Skype their codex is horrible to me horrible there are much better SIP clients in my opinion Xlite, Akija I mean there's a ton of bet to me better quality sit phones than Skype unless they've really cleaned up their act and then I cannot speak for video calls I'm not sure what the quality of video calls are with Skype but man they're codec and it's proprietary software so you don't know what's in it they purchased Skype for eight and a half billion dollars I mean that to me is suspicious are they it, I just don't want to go off into that kind of discussion but I just wouldn't trust Microsoft for all of my telecommunications and meeting needs but that's just me that is just my opinion and I certainly don't run a large company so I probably don't know what I'm talking about but that's why I said it was an opinion <laughs> communication power productivity PSTN conferencing Skype meeting broadcast cloud PBX PSTN calling and a rich partner ecosystem their analytics include delve Power BI, Customer Lockbox, NSA Spying, I mean Advanced E-Discovery, Advanced Threat Protection. I guess it has built-in malware protection and viruses, but I get plenty of customers that bring me their computers, and they have Skype, and they still get viruses and malware, so whatever. Quickly, I'm not going to play this, but on screen you can see that there was a first look at Skype meeting broadcast video and it's about nine minutes and five seconds long you can check it out and I guess they have a presentation of their Skype meeting setup adios